In this tutorial, we are going to talk about implicit differentiation. So, what is implicit differentiation? Okay, basically, when we're talking over implicit differentiation, we are differentiating that particular function with respect to x. Okay, now, I know to say if I give you uh, a, simple, uh, a simple function to say differentiate 2x to a power 2 you are going to say that eh, the derivative of this uh, 2x to a power 2 is 4x okay where we are saying the power you drop the power then the power reduces by 1 okay but now when we talk of implicit differentiation we are going to be differentiating a function in with respect to x so if I've got this function then for me to differentiate this one, which is if I want to find, uh, uh, if I want to find this one, I'm going to have what? It's going to be uh, 3x to the power 2. Now, this 3x to the power 2, since we are differentiating this function with respect to x, then it's going to be times dx over dx. Since we have got dx down there. Now, this dx and dx cancels. That's the reason why we just light it 3x to the power 2. Okay? But now, what if we have got something else there? Let's say we have uh, a function which is um, d, then we have this, and then we have y to the power 3. Okay? Now, we are trying to differentiate this function with respect to x as well. Meaning that it's going to be what? It's going to be... Uh, 3y to the power 2 times dy over dx. Okay, now, in general, what you are trying to say here is that uh, when, when you are dealing with implicit differentiation, where you are going to find y, after differentiating that function, do times dy over dx. Okay? But where you find x, it's going to, you just differentiate it without putting dy over dx because when you differentiate x to a power 2, it's the same as going to be 2x times dx over dx because we're differentiating this in terms of what? With respect to uh, x. Okay? So now we're differentiating this one with respect to y. That is the reason why we, we are going to be putting dy over dx, meaning these two guys, they can't cancel each other. Okay? So now, let's have a simple example. Let's say we have got a function we want, um, let's say we've got a function which is uh, maybe 3x plus y has to be equal to 10. Now we are trying to differentiate this one, now implicit differentiation. So basically what you are trying to say here is, uh, what is the derivative of 3x? It's going to be x, it's going to be what? Uh, it's going to be 3, so I'm going to write 3, okay, plus. The derivative of that one is 1. Now, 1 times, whenever you, you see y, we are going to be doing times what? You differentiate that one, then it's going to be d, uh, dy over dx has to be equal. The derivative of any constant is 0. So, we are trying to make dy over, d, uh, over dx as a subject of formula. Therefore, we are going to shift 3 to the other side. So, we are going to have dy divided by dx has to be equal to negative 3. Meaning, this is our answer. Okay, now those are simple things. Now, let's say that we have um, x squared plus y squared, and then let's have equal to 3x uh, to a power 3, and then plus y to a power 3. Okay, let's try to differentiate that one with respect to, with respect to x as well as y. So now, when it comes for differentiating this x squared, I'm going to differentiate it with respect to x. So it's going to be what? It's going to be uh, 2x. This 2x is the same as you say 2x times dx over dx. So these two guys, they cancel each other. That's the reason why when you see where there's x, we don't, we don't put anything. You just differentiate it and leave it. Then this one is going to be what? It's going to be 2y now, after putting 2y, I'm going to say times dy over dx has to be equal to, even this one I differentiate it, I'm going to say uh, 9 times, th or oh, 3 times 3, which is going to be 9. So I'm going to have 9 to the power 2 times plus 3, I'll have y, then to the power 2 times dx, 
dy over dx. So we are trying to make dy over dx as a subject of formula. Therefore, anything which contains dy over dx is going to be, I'm going to move it to the right uh, left hand side. Then anything that contains, which doesn't have dy over dx, I'm going to move it to the right, to the right hand side. Therefore, I'm going to remain with you. I'm going to remain with you. 2y dy over dx. Then I'm going to shift this 3y here, which is going to be minus now 3y squared times dy over dx. It's going to be equal to, here we have got 9, x squared. I'm going to shift now this one to the other side, which is going to be minus 2x. So I'm going to isolate, I'm going to factor out the dy over dx. Then I'm going to open the brackets, I'm going to have 2y minus 3, 3y, not 3x. We have 3y squared has to be equal to 9x squared plus 2x. Okay? And then from there, I'm going to divide both sides by what? 2y minus the 3y squared. Even here, 2x squared minus the minus 3 is 3y. Okay. I'm going to divide that both sides by 2y minus 3y to a power 2. Meaning these two, they'll cancel. So we're going to have our, okay, let me just create space here. We're going to have our um, dy over dx is going to be equal to, we have what? We have 9x squared minus 2x, everything divided by 2y minus 3 y squared. If you want, you can factor out y down as well as the x on top. It's the same thing. And then we can say that it's going to be dy over dx is going to be equal to, I can factor out x, it's going to be 9x minus 2, and then this one is going to be y to, it's going to be 2 minus 3y. So this is my answer. Okay, let's say we have a function which is um, maybe x squared plus y squared and then plus 8x and then minus 2y then minus 8 has to be equal to 0. Now we are trying to differentiate this one. So the first part is going, we are going to differentiate it with respect to x which is going to be 2x plus this one is going to be 2y times dy over dx plus this one is going to be 8 minus this one is going to be 2 uh, times dy over dx. Okay, then minus any that is 8 that is constant is going to be 0 has to be equal to 0. So we can just remove this part because this is 0. So we just remove it there. Okay, and then what do we do? We make dy over dx as a bit of formula. Therefore, I'm going to shift 2x as well as 8 to the other side. So I'm going to remain with 2y dy over dx minus 2 dy over d, dx has to be equal to negative 2x minus, minus 8. Okay, minus 8. So therefore, I can make dy over dx as subject of formula and then I'm going to have 2y minus what? 2 has to be equal to negative 2x minus 8. Let's divide both sides by 2y minus 2 even here 2y minus 2. Therefore what we are going to remain with now is uh, we are going to cancel this. So we are going to have dy over dx is going to be equal to negative 2x minus 8, everything divided by 2y minus 2, meaning this is our answer. If you want, you can factor out, it doesn't matter, we can do this. You can end there or you can say uh, dy divided by dx is going to be equal to, you can factor out uh, negative 2, so it's going to be negative 2, or if we, we can just say we factor out 2. It's the same thing. If I factor out 2 
open brackets and then I'm going to have negative x minus what? 8. Then divided by, here I can factor out 2, I'm going to remain with the y minus 1. Then I can cancel 2. Okay? And then my final answer becomes dy over dx is going to be equal to negative x minus 8, everything y minus 1. So this is my answer. Okay, cool. Now, how can we solve this? Let's say we have um, 2x. Let's have this. 2x squared plus 2y squared. And then let's have minus 3x. And then let's have plus uh, 2y. And then let's have plus 1 has to be equal to hundred okay how can you solve this okay so it's the same process so what we're going to do here is we're going to differentiate this one which is going to be 4 x okay then now plus this one is going to give us what 4 y times dy times what times dy divided by dx and then what you're going to have now here is going to be just 3 plus here is going to be 2 times dy by what dx and then we are going to have the derivative of 1 is 0 so we can just leave it or we can put 0 we can just leave it because it's going to give us 0 and then that is equal to 0 okay now I'm going to make uh, dy over dx as a bit of formula then it's going to be 4y times um, dy divided by dx and then I have plus 2 times I have dy divided by dx this has to be equal to I'm shifting now this guy and the, this guy to the other side so it's going to be I can start with this one so it's going to be plus 3 then minus 4x so let's make dy over dx as subject of formula and then we are going to have we are going to have what? so if we say dy dx we are going to have uh, 4y plus 2 has to be equal to 3 minus 4x let's divide both sides by 4y plus 2 even here 4y plus 2 so what we are going to remain with is going to be what? It's going to be um, dy dx is going to be equal to what? 3 minus 4x divided by 4y minus 2. Meaning this is my answer. Okay. What if we have something complicated? What if we have uh, x to the power 3 plus xy and then minus um, x squared y squared has to be equal to 0 let's say is equal to 7 ok so now here what we need to understand is that uh, these functions which we have here there are two functions therefore at that particular point we are going to be using what we call the product law ok so we know that the product rule if I have um, is going if I have got it, let's say we have x squared then minus one we have two functions let's say we have x minus three x squared and then then let's just say we have um, yeah, yeah we have these functions. Now we are trying to differentiate it. What we normally do, we are going to assign this one as to be u, this one to be our v. So the formula which we are going to use there is going to be our u is going to be what? It's going to, we, are, we are supposed to, uh, to differentiate every. So we are going to have u prime times v plus. Then it's going to be u v prime. So this is the formula which we are going to be using. So what we are going to do in this case, we are going to assign, uh, we are going to say that uh, this x, we are going to differentiate it. 
okay it's more like our x is going to be our u and then v is going to be what this is x then this one is going to be y so according to the our formula is saying that we are supposed to say u prime times v plus v prime times u okay so what are, what are we going to do here what we're going to do here is this guy is going to give us 3x to the power 2 plus here we are going to differentiate x and keep y constant so we are going to say the derivative of x is going to be 1 so it's going to be just y okay plus now here we are going to keep this constant x we are going to put it constant times this one is going to be the derivative of y which is going to be just in dy over dx minus so this minus is going to affect everything that's why we're going to put a bracket uh, open brackets there and then we are going to differentiate this one the x which is going to be 2x putting the y constant plus I'm going to put constant x then I differentiate that one which is going to be 2y let me remove this uh, 2y times what times dy over dx has to be equal to 0 because the derivative of 7 is going to give us 0 so opening the brackets what are we going to have we're going to have 3x squared plus y plus x dy over dx minus 2xy again this minus is going to affect this so we're going to have minus again then it's going to have we're going to have what we're going to have x squared or I can start with 2 2xy times dy over dx has to be equal to 0 let's shift everything which doesn't have dy over dx to the other side and then we're going to have uh, dy we have x we can start lighting there okay so we have x dy over dx minus 2x squared y then dy over dx has to be equal to I'm going to shift this part as well as that part okay and then I'm going to have uh, let me start with this one so that I have plus this one and then minus 3x squared so what I'm going to do now I'm going to factor out in dy over dx which is going to give me um, <coughs> x minus 2x squared y has to be equal to 2xy minus 3x squared so we're going to divide uh, to divide both sides by x minus 2x squared y even here x minus 2 uh, x squared y and then we're going to cancel this part so what are we going to have now we're going to have this let's get rid of this okay so this is what we're going to have we're going to have um, dy over dx which is going to be equal to we're going to have 2xy minus 3x squared everything divided by x minus 2x squared y so I, at this point now we can factor out x okay therefore we are going to remain with him okay we are going to remain with dy over the x is going to be equal to let's factor out x so we're going to have x open brackets now let me use different color we're going to have x open brackets and then we're going to remain with 2y minus 3x even here we're going to have x open brackets we're going to remain with it uh, we're going to remain with 1 minus 2xy <coughs> So at this point we can cancel the x and then our answer is going to be this one our answer is going to be this one which is going to be 2y minus 3x everything divided by 1 minus 2xy so this is our answer okay